ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the TRW brake discs and pads used in the video by clicking on the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever, and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake discs and pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of the car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the required area. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels, raise the front of the vehicle, and put it in the two-axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Using a T35 torque socket under the two screws that hold the disc. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket, release the two brake caliper mounting bolts. Finish off the unscrewing process by hand. Remove the caliper. Here's a tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using the cable you have already attached. Remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. You can use a screwdriver to help you. You need to check the proper sliding of the caliper mounting bolts and the condition of the protective rubbers. If they show evidence of wear, it is advisable to replace them with new ones. With a flathead screwdriver, remove the noise dampening shims. Depending on the state of the nuts on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Using a socket wrench and an 18mm socket, unscrew the two holding screws on the brake caliper mount. Take off the brake caliper mount. Finish by removing the screws that fasten the disc on so you can completely take it off. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the hub with a wire brush. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one. You will find the TRW parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Take the new brake disc. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. 
If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Place the new disc onto the hub and rescrew the two fastening screws by hand as much as possible. Using a wire brush, clean the brake caliper mount around the area where the pads will be placed. This will facilitate their installation. Reassemble the brake caliper mount once again, starting the screwing process by hand. Finishing with a socket wrench and an 18mm socket to fix them in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Pull out the noise dampening shim supplied in the kit. Fit them on the caliper mount. Take the new brake pads. Insert the new pads into the caliper mount, sliding them into place. Detach the caliper. You can now put it back on and reassemble the caliper mounting bolts. Don't forget to use the new screws that come with the pack as they have been pre-coated with thread locking fluid. Sometimes you have to stop the lock nut from turning by holding it with your fingers or with a 15mm spanner. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. To lock the disc, insert a thin flatted screwdriver that can slip in between the two sides of the disc. You have to insert it in front of the brake caliper mount so that it butts up against the latter. Finish tightening the screws, holding the disc. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on. and lower it to the ground Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in Be careful! Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 km or so to avoid glazing the new pads Operation completed Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.